All right, welcome back to the program. You're still watching Daily Politics on Trust TV. Let's talk about Casino State because the state government is planning to commemorate its 37th anniversary in a grand style. And there are quite a good number of people who think that this is, of course, a very poor decision. Given the finances of the state, the economic situation in the state, the security challenges that the state continues to face, and also uh, the inadequacies that exist within the government structure itself in providing the much needed uh, impact on the lives and livelihood of the people. Joining us on the program to help dimension some of these issues is Dr. Mustafa Inwa. Dr. Mustafa is the former secretary to the state government under former governor Aminu Bella Masari. Uh, Dr. Mustafa, thank you so much for joining us on Daily Politics. Good evening. Hello, Dr. Mustafa, can you hear me? Hello, hello, doctor. Uh, I think we're going to work on that connection to get uh, Dr. Mustafa you know, back uh, online so we can have a conversation about the planned anniversary celebration by the Casino State Government. The state is set to mark its 37th anniversary since its establishment. And um, stakeholders have given their two cents about this, saying that um, the state cannot afford to celebrate given the current state of affairs, the economic downturn, the unending security challenges, especially in several parts of a casino state. Over the past couple of weeks, the governor has also doubled down on that insecurity where he was pointing out some of the loopholes, the gaps that continues to exist within the system in providing adequate security. So the big question is, uh, is this particular celebration necessary uh, given the current uh, reality of things, not just in Casino State, by the way, but across uh, the country. I think we have uh, Dr. Mustafa Inua back online. Doctor, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us on Daily Politics. Hello, Doctor. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. I just want to get your take on the planned 37th uh, anniversary of Casino State. Uh, what, what, what do you make of it? There are a lot of uh, opinions out there in the public. You see, I think it's wrong in uh, appreciating God for having the state all this uh, long and uh, for what we have been able to do so far. Uh, but what I expected is to uh, have program where people pray in the mosque uh, and also in various places and probably visit uh, hospital where you greet the sick and, 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 and appreciate what is uh, uh, they're able to, to, to do and also uh, other places where you assist those in need of uh, assistance. But honestly, I have not. I am not aware of what activities really went on. Only the dinner that uh, took place yesterday. But I think it is okay. But uh, and also for us to 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 appreciate our leaders before now who uh, nurtured the state up to this position. Although we are supposed to. Uh, do better than what we have uh, achieved so far, uh, but at least it's better than uh, we didn't have the, the, the state. Mm. Uh, and then the government should also come with program of uh, action on how to develop the, the state with maybe a uh, program of, uh, uh, of activities like uh, in education, in health, youth empowerment, uh, agri agriculture and uh, areas that will accelerate uh, development, especially looking at the population uh, of, of Kazina, which uh, we are second to Kano O, Kano and Kaduna. So honestly, uh, it's just not mere to come and celebrate, eat food and, and, and dance, no. But there should be a, a program of uh, action line up, which uh, should have been uh, uh, yeah. revealed at that uh, time. 
Yeah, uh, just to just a point of correction, by the way, the events have already been uh, marked, uh, as pointed out there by Dr. Mustafa Inwa, uh, the celebrations to commemorate the 37th anniversary of Casino State since its uh, creation. Um, let's let me. I, I get the sense that you are less than impressed with the way the government is running the affairs of the state. Is that is that is that um, is that understanding correct? No, you see, I don't know in what aspect you are talking about. Mm -hmm. Maybe what I said recently about this uh, ceremony, traveling ceremony of three government uh, functionaries, two mm -hmm. members of the government and one member of the House of Representatives. What I said was that, you see, at this material time, when people are really suffering, when people are living in misery, how people are hungry, when people can't even attend to basic needs like school, uh, uh, medications, and so on. I said there is no time. Your account is too low for the... Okay. Uh, it, it appears we have uh, lost our connection to uh, Dr. Mustafa there. We're going to work on it to try and get him uh, back uh, online as we continue this conversation about the state of affairs in Casino State, uh, where the celebrations uh, to mark the 37th anniversary of the state has uh, divided opinions, especially among stakeholders. And I was just uh, pointing out there uh, the position of uh, Dr. Mustafa Inwa, who is the former secretary to the state government, uh, speaking to how, in light of all the economic challenges, the government appears uh, to be disconnected with the population at least that is his position on some of these things saying that um, you know they're not necessarily primary objectives that the government uh, needs to focus on remember casino state is one of the hardest hit states when it comes to insecurity in northwest niger for a good part of the last few years it has been the epicenter of uh, the banditry and so many of these local government areas uh, have been uh, under siege so to say by bandits who have operated in those areas with impunity, um, intimidating people, maiming people, destroying um, lives and livelihoods. And of course, uh, this particular ceremony, uh, according to some uh, stakeholders within the state, like Dr. Mustafa Inwa, for instance, uh, is, is rather uh, not a well thought out idea given all of uh, the challenges that the people in Casino State continue uh, to face. We're going to work on that connection to try and get uh, Dr. Mustafa back online so we can have uh, further the conversation uh, as we double down on not just the commemorations uh, but also those turbulent ceremonies that he was alluding to in that comment uh, before we got uh, caught off. Um, you know, he was talking about how the, the operations, the body language of the state government under our government Dikarata, is, is less than satisfactory, at least to one side of uh, the argument. The other side of the argument is that um, these are parallels. There will always be challenges. So there is also a need uh, for the government to give people a sense of hope, a sense of positive energy to commemorate and as well as, uh, you know, remember the journey of Casino State over the past uh, three and a half decades. And that is why, according to the state government, uh, these commemorations uh, are rather necessary. Some say it was a low-key celebration, but of course, as you can imagine, other opinions uh, have prevailed to also point out that these celebrations are uncalled for. They insult the sensibility of the people who are unable to put food on their table, who are unable to cater for their needs, who are unable uh, to do to go about their lives and livelihood uh, the way they normally would, without the guarantee. Uh, with the guarantee, rather, of uh, security, which has eluded uh, some parts of Casino State, and as you can imagine, to a great extent, uh, the Northwest region uh, itself. So we're just going to take a moment's break. We'll, we'll come back in just a moment to establish our connection to Dr. Mustafa Inwa to further this conversation. Join us again.
All right, uh, we're back uh, on the program. You're still watching Daily Politics. Dr. Mustafa Inwa is a former secretary to the Kasina State Government. Uh, and just before he was cut off, we were talking about the state of affairs in Kasina. Doctor, good to have you back. Uh, just finish your line of thought there regarding uh, what you make of the celebrations as well as um, how it does not sit well with the economic reality of the citizens in Kasina. No, what celebration? I don't care. Is that about the transaction? Seven year celebration? Yeah, you you talked about the commemorations. Mm -hmm. You talked about the turbanin ceremonies also. Yeah. But you see, the, I told you this, that the seven year celebration only know about it in the dinner. Mm -hmm. About what? You know about it. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was somebody who called me and drew my attention that pretty much that the there was dinner going on. Then I tuned to the channel and saw it. That. Mm. And then I understand civil servants, those who excel in the various places were given some, which is okay. You appreciate the good work, you appreciate dedication, you appreciate honesty, and so on. I encourage people to, 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 to do the same. So I think that is okay. And mm. uh, part of that, I know about it, honestly. Mm. And about the tavern and something, I made my. The timing was wrong. What, what is what is wrong about the timing, Doctor? Because of the situation people are in. See, someone shouldn't be celebrating this kind of why people are hungry, why people care for this without food, why people cannot send their children to school, why people cannot attend to the basic... Uh, so not the one should do that. Maybe like I said, if somebody from somewhere, a businessman, somebody who aren't as many else who comes and do that, it's a different thing. And moreover, even those who give this kind of, well, I think they should, uh, they should do a diligent uh, work and thorough, thorough job to find out what actually have you contributed. Moreover, it is very wrong to do to people who are very young in age. You don't know what happened uh, in, in future. So wait until when you reach maybe age that you are no longer in government and you have done all you do and you have been uh, appreciated, you have been organized. And later in their council, the bad happens. Let me give you a quick example. I was, uh, when I was lecturing in the university, a young person, when I do a conversation, was given, was, was, was awarded to, uh, among those uh, hardworking, dedicated, and what have you. Unfortunately, a month or two afterward, it was somebody who was very much involved in uh, admission and call of letter chairing in the office of the academic secretary. It was the embarrassment of the university. But somebody who is maybe 89, somebody who has even uh, gone to maybe done all what he could do, you appreciate that you give him that that kind of thing. So, but not only you are simply because you have government. Uh, mm. you are, before they are appointed government, why are they not to organize the given this kind of thing? Mm. I think it's that's all my opponent. And I don't think it's even an issue that we should be bothering ourselves about. I think not only the recipients, but even those who are uh, our leaders should, 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 should look at the issue and see this is not the case. Again, like I said, uh, if the government do that as some all public servants, all public servants from uh, this kind of thing, I wish that somebody working in one of the uh, financial security agencies was involved in this thing. I think it's wrong. It's wrong because we are talking about reality. Reality should be uh, absolute to where you are from. And if you come to him, there will be conflict of uh, uh, reality. There will be problem. And when issues uh, arise that involve those people who... Okay. I think mm -hmm. we should look at it and also the financial aspect of it. Mm -hmm. people, I think it is very important. Uh, people are not having... Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm afraid bec uh, due to the poor quality of that uh, connection, we're going to have to end the conversation there because we're actually out of time also, uh, Dr. Yes, Mustafa Ima. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we know uh, that what the not mm. Yeah, right, right. Uh, Dr. Mustafa Inua, former secretary to the state government, uh, Kasina, thank you most kindly for your patience and for joining the conversation on daily politics this evening. Thank you, thank you very much. Right, All right. Yeah. And of course, uh, this is where we anchor the discussion. Thank you, as always, for being a part of it. We do appreciate you for your time and company. Do well to follow us across our social media platforms just to stay in touch. You can also visit our website, trusttv.com, for more news, programs, 
and documentaries. My name is Abdullahi Ahmed. For myself and the rest of the team, thank you for watching the program. I'll see you next time.